Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, while the dog wags his tail very happily in the background there, we are here on Limera Farm. This is a new mod map out by Andrade, ML Modding, Wesley Franco and Renegados Modding. 326.51 megabytes download. Limera Farm is a Brazilian map set in the state of Sao Paulo. This has 13 required mods that will download automatically. They are listed in the description. They will download automatically. I'm not going to read them all out. Um, there are some extra crop types put in here. We have rice, we've got carioca beans, and we have got alfalfa. Our rice and, well, actually rice, beans, and alfalfa can all be planted or put in the ground using cedars. The beans can also be put in using a planter. You know what? I'll show you. That's probably the easiest thing to do, isn't it? If we go to our cedars, you will see there, added onto the end there, we've got alfalfa, rice, and carioca beans. So cedars will do all three of them. Planters will just do the beans. So if you've got a cedar, you can do all of them. But if you've got a planter, you can only do the beans of those, but it's up to you. As far as harvesting goes, it's a regular harvester header for harvesting our rice and our beans and the alfalfa is a grass so that will be mown, tedded, bailed, have whatever you want to do with that. Um, that's what the alfalfa will do. Contracts are available on the map and talking of the map it looks like this and on New Farmer we start with plot one which is the main farm area. Um, it's not cheap it's 1,808,080 for that plot so on farm manager and start from scratch um, your, your farm energy should be alright. Start from scratch, you might need a bit more money. Um, field prices, if we come across here, you'll see these smaller plots can be picked up fairly cheaply, which is rather nice. These areas out here are all kind of grassland areas that might need some trees cut down, that kind of thing. Those prices are a little bit more expensive. And then we've got the verges, the periphery, which takes in a lot of the main industrial area, cell point, and we've got some forest around the side and stuff like that. So if we click on that... 6,809,904 is what that will cost. So yeah, it's up there. But that being said, it does mean that you can then put placeables and stuff down. We've got some big areas here, warehouse one, warehouse two. When we come down here, we've got the sort of the sugarcane cell point factory with loads of space there. So it's something you might want to do if you're doing Let's Play. You might want to put some money in and purchase all that in advance. Or it might be something you want to build up to. 6,809,000. If it's not... It's not cheap. We've got two more sort of forested areas just there. That does take in this quarry as well, which is another rather, rather large area. Um, so yeah, field prices are up there. That said, the main farm, and the main farm is a, uh, it's an interesting one. I'm going to say that. Right, slot cam. We'll talk about that straight away. So, new farmer, 1,193. You will start with all the buildings, all the machinery, all the equipment, and there's a fair bit of it. On farm manager and start from scratch, that comes down to 1,027. Difference being, you won't have the vehicles and machinery. All the buildings all, and, and um, animals are all still here. Because we do have animal pens on the farm. As you can see behind us, we've got some horses. We've got two horses in there. We do have a dog just here. There you go. If we fill Inferno's bowl. A very happy dog. Sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger are just inside there. Just bear with me a moment. That's better. So, we go up into the building. Sleep and wardrobe triggers just inside here. So, nice little house. All the doors and windows open. Just let the air in. This is another one of those maps. I mean, we've, we've had a lot of Brazilian maps, but this one, I don't know. It's crisp, it's clean, it's tidy, it's got great lighting, the colour palette works. I don't know. There's a lot of fencing. I think that might annoy people. We come around to the side here. I think that's a water point just there. Open the gates here. We've got our first animal pen. And the animal pens are built into the map. So we've got horses 2 out of 16 are in here. If I come through from there, close the gate. And we're going to come and grab the pickup in a minute. Because we're going to need that for getting around the rest of the map. Then we come up into the yard. Across to our side there, we've got two silage clamps. We've got gateways that kind of go out around into the countryside from here. But we've got a main silo in here. This is a multi-fruit silo, 1 million litres. And the start of our equipment and machinery is here. Auger wagon, trailer and subsoiler just tucked away in here. Open the gate, come out the other side. 
we'll get our planter just there header on the floor just there and we come across the yard to be oh we've got a fuel tank around the side just there okay where's the fuel tank oh fuel tank's around the side of that one who is here somewhere we've got a fuel tank around the side there this one's just a shed not a silo muck spreader slurry spreader just to the side there we come in here we've got a harvester we've got two john deers front loader on that one rear twins on this one bit of a beastie we've got our bale shredder top mix ration mixer liquid fertilizer spreader we've got a tank not a tank as in a you know <laughs> kaboom sort of tank but a, you know a tank uh, and then we come out here now this is where things get interesting so let's go back to the map and i'll show you so this is our farm we've got some pens now these two pens here take in this entire area and this entire area around here so when i said they're built in they are built in and they and what i like about this it gives that feeling you know you get maps where it says grazing and you've got pastures this really does give that feel of oh hang on <laughs> what the where have you come from um okay so you've got one that goes out that way one that goes out this way and what's interesting is where both the pens come together and we can drive around here you've got your feed troughs and stuff are here feed and bedding can be done here at the same sort of central location if we come across the I don't, that is crazy we've got to run away so 40 out of 500 in one pen if we go i'm gonna hop the fences rather than no i'm not <laughs> i'm not as young as i used to be um and then we've got another one here 40 out of 500 here so we've got 80 in these two and they're out I mean, like I say, the, the field goes on and on and on. And they're out and about. All the way around, I can't see a single one now. Oh yeah, look over there, you can see some. There, there are 40 in here, and there's 40 in the other one as well. Trust me, they are there. Like I say, I'm... I'm <laughs> this, look, this one just don't care now. Just chill out. Just... Ah, uh, I'm out now. I finally made it. So I come along here and then we've got the cow shed. So you can run however you want to do it, really. Uh, this one we've got, I think it's 20, was it, in this one? 20 out of 200 in this one. As you can see, we've got different animals. So you can run beefers, you can run, you know, you could do it as as if, you know, when you have new births, you could bring your new births into the barn here. Yes, they all look the same on this map. We've actually got calves, but it, it could work. So, yeah, we've got 100 in total. As I said, we've got silage clamps just here. That is the main farm. Putting into the silo is done inside. Taking out of the silo is done there. The one million litre silo that we possess. Now, we're going to grab the pickup. Because part of our land, if we look at our land that spreads out, ranges all the way out, we've got this over here. So we've got another silo. A silo with covered hopper. And we've got a medium petrol tank over this side. So another farm on the hillside, which is part of the land you start with. That silo over there is a 550,000 litre. We'll whiz out that way because that's kind of the route round the map we're going to go. It does say there are collectibles. It says there are 20. I haven't encountered one yet. Um, I didn't talk about build mode, did I? Under the build mode, on top of the required mods, we've got horse pen, which I think is the one that's behind us just there. Um, we've got some paint textures and we've got some plants. Other than that, it's all pretty much standard. I've gone the wrong way, that's fine. Straight away, good start, isn't it? A map tour, wrong way. <laughs> Lucky I don't do tours in real life, isn't it? And over here, oh no, wrong place, right. So, out from here, and you'll see the, sort of the, the scale of the pens as we go out. And like I say, I, I like that, it, it gives that much more realistic feel of grazing, that the animals are right out there and just, you know, proper free range. There you go, look, there's some cows out here. All the way out here, look. I would say living the dream, they haven't escaped like the other one. That cow, best life. So, now like I said, these, the other side, these are not animal pens. 
but there is a lot of fencing. We've got a lot of gateways, a lot of fencing. Until you get onto the outer areas, and you can see the trees and stuff. A lot of it would need some work if you wanted to, but it's got a very rugged feel to it. And, and I've said many times on map tours, and I've mentioned on this one as well, it has a very immersive, very real feel to it. It doesn't feel contrived. It doesn't feel set up. I don't know. I just the the way the land sort of things have been carved out of the landscape. So this is part of our farm. We've got some barn and shed space. We've got the 550,000 litre silo, more sheds. And this is what I'm talking about. It's kind of carved out of the hillside. And down there we've got a fuel tank and some more shed space down there. And we've got gateways that lead in and out of the various different large pen areas. So we're going to head north now. Now, of our start equipment, which we've just seen most of, we do own and start with a centre, a pivot irrigation system, is what we have. But, the weird thing is, it's not at our farm. <laughs> it's out on a plot of land, which is a circular field, which is what the pivot irrigation system is for, but we don't own it. We don't own the field, so our, yeah, our irrigation system is on someone else's land. Um, if that's a plot of land you're not intending to buy at any point, you might as well sell the irrigation system. Unless at some point you decide you want it. Because it's just sitting out there, you'll see when we get out there. But you'll see as well how rugged and wild the landscape is. There's, there are plenty of fields. This isn't a pioneering map. This isn't a map where you've got to clear the land before you can start farming. There are plenty of fields to be getting on with. And some fair sizes as well. But there's all this expanse out so if you really feel like taming the wilds, you can. This I like as well. I like this concept that there's either been a sort of, you know, a bit of a landslide or the road's washed away or they're in the process of building it. And if you buy the land, I think this is part of the... Well, he we didn't care, did he? So we're all out here. Yes, this is part of the, the periphery, the verges. If you do purchase that, you could spend a bit of time smoothing this out and then you could put them like an asphalt, you, you could go through a whole thing, use some equipment and machinery and, and do a whole, you know, an immersive rebuilding the road sort of thing if you wanted to. I know it's not farming, but I don't know, when you're part of a, a community, and I, I think that's a big thing about this game now, as it grows and progresses, the whole a attitude and argument of it's not farming, therefore it shouldn't be in the game, I don't think that's relevant anymore. The game has become so much more than that. I know the game is called Farming Simulator, and people do hang all their hopes and dreams on that, but it is so much more. And if you're a farmer as part of a larger community, there is so much more than just the farming. So, there we go. There's that irrigation system. What I do like about the field on this, you can see where the wheels of the irrigation system have gone, and that's been left so it, it's like because it's been compacted the crops haven't grown it's, it's a clever feature um, but that's where our um, irrigation system is sat at the moment we turn in here we've got a large pond here with some palms growing in it if we come across here it looks like it's got a water system that is for the irrigation system I would imagine but yeah let's go aerial and have a look so you can see the lines there which match up to the wheel it's it's very well done i have to say so that's the field and there's our irrigation system in the middle of it we come back out there and we go to the map you'll see now that we are here so that is ours um sorry but we don't own the land if we want to buy that plot 772 sorry 775,272. So that's something that's going to take you a while to build up to. Like I say, if that irrigation just sits there doing nothing, you might want to sit. I mean, like I said, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just... You know. It's always your decision. Always. From here, then. Luckily, if you're on a long journey, we've got some services coming up. You know what it's like. Especially when you've got kids in the car. In my experience it's normally the adults but <laughs> oh services and there will be various cries of what people need I could murder a cup of tea that kind of thing and the other you know so gas station off to our left vehicle shop 
and workshop. This is the reset point on the map as well. The vehicle shop is inside the building you access from the front. The workshop is at the back, and when you buy vehicles, there's not actually... I'm going to show you. So if, if we go inside to buy a vehicle, there's not actually an exit out to the back, which is where the vehicles spawn. So you actually have to go all the way around and back in. It's, it's, a, it's a minor thing, but you have to go all the way around to get to your vehicle. Unless you tab. If you tab, then that's... You know, that's it's up to you. Directly across there, that's a cell point. That's for textiles. That's cotton and wool and that kind of stuff. It's not a spinnery. It is just textiles. We do have on here, though, some plots. If you buy the whole lot, you'll get some of these plots. So you've got some placeable areas. Um, but we have got some smaller plots, including a placeable area that can be purchased separately for less money. So if you want to put some bits on there, you might decide you want to put a house on there and go for a different style of, of let's play. You might start from the town and work up to a farm. That being said, that main farm is expensive. So it's that thing of, you know, would you... It will take you a long time to build up to it, but that might be something you enjoy. If we go all the way out here, it'll take us to the animal dealer. It's just an animal dealer, there's no sell point out here, but again, if you've bought the land, there's nothing stopping you. Up on the flat sections up here, or on this section up here, putting in a production or another sell point, or you know, whatever you like, is in type to you. So, animal dealer is up here. Whiz down the hill. Should I go the right way? And then we go left. What's left, isn't it? Yep. And right. We've got a, an in sort of covered market. This is the fair sell point. Just there. And then if we go along across the back of here. That's the textiles building. Turn in here. And then down here we've got Bale Sales Point, which we're going to come to when we turn left. So Bale Sales Point is just there. And you come right the way out to the end. Bit of construction going on, pipework being fixed to our right hand side. We're going to go past that again in a moment. It's uh, like a motocross track off road course. Again, whatever you want to do with that is in touch you. Come right across this large area, this is what I was talking about. This is massive expanse here. So for, for, for productions and sell points, plenty of space, but it is on that bit of land that's expensive. We've got a pig food buy station just there. And we have warehouse number one, which is one of the main sell points on the map. So warehouse one is just there. Actually, you know what I haven't done? I haven't shown you where we've been and where we're going and all that kind of thing. We started off at the main farm here. So we went around the main farm area. We came out of the main farm area along that track there, came round there to this area here. We came along there, and down across that dirt road, round past the pivot irrigation field. Came along there and into here, onto the sort of main industrial area, I guess. Out to the animal dealer, round all this. Just past there, and we are currently here. So what we're going to do now is head onto this road, and we're going to head south, down the eastern side of the map. It's another one of those maps, there's plenty on here, and you can come on and you can play. Boom, straight away, just crack on. But it's got plenty of scope for growth, It's got because it's not littered with productions, it's not packed with stuff already on here. A lot of the times on maps that people won't necessarily use all of the stuff, and it's on there, but there's plenty of scope and room to breathe, and to build, and to add more on. So whilst not, like I said, whilst it's not a pioneering map, it has got a lot of room for that, if you want to. So as I said, throw left. It's more of a motocross kind of thing than... I suppose it's off-road, technically. You add some stuff in. This is warehouse number two. So this is the second main sell point on the map. Just here. There's plenty of room out here, but I'm assuming this sort of area here is for larger articulated vehicles you can drive straight through the middle or swing around the outside I don't know I'm not up on my Brazilian road networks 
hillside sweeping up here. And that's what I'm talking about, the landscape as well. It's picturesque, it's really well done. I like the layout. There's some really cool features on here. It, it really does stand out. If we go up through there, it just takes out to the next section of fields. Let's jump to the map and I'll show you. So we're here. So up there just brings you out into this section of fields here, up the top. I mean, there's, there's plenty to be getting on with. And now we go down the other side, and this brings us towards the quarry. I'm not going to go right the way down into the quarry. We'll come into the top of it. But down the bottom of the quarry, there is a lime station down there. There is a debris crusher. So if you've got stones and you want to sell them somewhere, again, there are tons of modded options in the, in the mod hub. So if you'd rather have a production that uses stones, you absolutely can. But again, if you own all this land, there's nothing to stop you putting in a quarry, putting in a ton of piling stones up and having it somewhere you can come and collect stones but down the bottom of the quarry there and again it's it, it looks really good it really does so down the bottom there lime station and debris crusher back out from here and we're going to come past now so like, there's trees all over the place on the map you know um, but this this is technically the forest area so for doing i mean what is proper forestry but you know what i mean so these are your forested areas for your more proper forestry much straighter taller trees easier for using tree harvesters we've got our sections either side which brings us down to the sugarcane plant again massive open area plenty of room for putting stuff out if you want to once you own the land but as we come in through here the byproducts of the process is here to our right hand side we've got a slurry big open slurry tank so we can come and buy liquid fertilizer or liquid slurry should i say so that's a slurry tank which you can buy from if we come round here you'll see just through the gap there the blue icon just through there so that's Limera Mill that's the big mill cell point if we go to here we go to our cell points so you've got our warehouses are our main cell points on here then you've got the fair we've already seen that as well Limera Mill so they go sugarcane I think it's just sugarcane that comes to Limera Mill yeah pretty much um, so yeah that's the cell point there and then one of the other byproducts of the process would be the pulp stuff that comes out so this is a manure buy point so you can come and buy manure from here so you've got slurry and you've got manure purchase points then we come round here and we've got a forestry cell point so because the forests are right here forestry cell point as part of the plant is all built in there and that is the map if we come back up so we did our loop round start at the main farm came all the way up all the way round up the top there through the industrial area out past warehouse one and two, down there past the quarry, through the forests, and out here to our sugarcane factory. All that open ground, all this to explore, to expand, to have fun with, to be inventive with. That is Limera Farm by Andre M. L. Modding, Wesley Franco, and Renegados. Well, Renegados. Again, apologies if I've said that wrong. Modding. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.